Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day today. And if you're new, welcome. We're happy to have you here. And if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button. This way you'll be notified every time I post something new. So today I'm doing my May favorites video. Where did May go? Where did it go? I don't know, it's crazy. I cannot believe it's over already. I didn't bring as many items as I usually do. I'm just not feeling that well. I'm having some extra health problems on top of my normal health problems. So I just brought some makeup. Like I didn't bring any clothes or shoes or jewelry or anything like that. But I do ramble. Um, my intention was to make the video a little bit shorter. But who knows if it will be shorter or not because of my rambling. So let's get on into it. So a lot of this stuff has not been shown on my channel before, but there are a few items that have. So let's start off with some things you guys have never seen yet. So now, if you guys, um, if there's anyone out there who struggles with redness on their face or dark circles or just needs brightening under their eyes, this is what I call a dream team right here. These are the Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluids. The green one is for redness and the peach one is for dark circles. And then this is Tarte Shape Tape and this is obviously a concealer because everyone's heard of it 8 million times. And oh my gosh, this really, really has changed me and like helped me out so much. The concealer that I had before just was not working for me at all. It was like an e.l.f. kind of like um, cream concealer. Um, there's probably people it does work for, probably if you're younger and just using concealer, concealer to cover up like a blemish. But if you have dark circles and other more major problems, this baby is the queen. I use the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade. Even though I'm super pale, at first I wasn't sure what shade to get so I asked somebody else Sarah Smiles actually who is a youtuber I will link her down below I asked her what she used because I thought we had similar skin color and she said she used fair so I took her recommendation and I was glad I did because you kind of want it to be like a little lighter than your skin slash foundation color because you want it to like brighten you a tiny bit so you could use these items with your foundation which is what I did today or you can use them on their their own like if you're not doing your whole face like say you just want to do concealer and a little bit of makeup as long as you cover like certain places so it doesn't look all out of whack you can use these on a non-foundation day so I think I'll actually do in the future once I get some of these health problems taken care of and I have more time to do videos with um that take up more editing I think I'll do like a tutorial on how to do this because I know it really helped me. I know there's probably a lot of people with similar problems. So I know these are can be pricey items, but if you, if you have these problems, they're definitely worth it. And NYX does make color correctors that are similar to these that are a little bit cheaper and they probably work just as good. What happened was I was actually searching for the NYX ones and they weren't coming up. And that's because for some odd reason, I found out later on the Ulta site, NYX keeps the colored ones under, they keep them under um, concealer, even though they're color correctors. So I don't know why that is. But so you can get the NYX ones if you want to save a little bit of money and not get the Urban Decay. So yeah, these products are amazing and I use them several times a week. So next we'll go on to two palettes that I've been loving. So this I bought in April, but I didn't start using it until May because I wanted to wait until I gave my mom hers because I got her one for Mother's Day. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. Um, I, I don't need to spend too much time on it because it's like everywhere on YouTube, but these are what the colors do look like. If you go to any of the videos from last week where I'm wearing the striped shirt, I actually did do a look with this palette and it was kind of like a light colored look using the first four colors of the top row. 
and I wasn't sure how that would show up on camera and it actually ended up looking really good on camera. So I was really happily surprised about that. The quality of these shadows is really good. Sometimes you do need to tap off your brush because they're that pigmented that there can be a little bit powdery, but not powdery in a bad way. They're still like, they're really good and they blend well. So it's worth the hype in my opinion. And I could do a video about this in the future if you want me to, but there's just so many. Like if you want to see one right now, you could just Google. Like there's not Google, you do the YouTube search. There's so many. The next palette is one I was almost not going to get. And then I realized I was letting other people decide for me, which is the Cap Von D Pastel Goth Palette. So this is the thing. Some people had a lot of things to say about this. People who I guess are obsessed with pastel were saying it wasn't pastel enough. And people who were goth were saying it wasn't goth enough because it didn't have a black. It has all these beautiful spring-like colors, and to me, they are pretty pastel. Like, I guess they could be lighter, but then Kat even came out and said, by pastel, she means the pastels that you kind of draw with, like the art supply pastel, not as much as the color pastel. Like, that's what she was going for. I think still they're beautiful spring and summer colors. They are so buttery and so smooth. And I'm wearing the green on my eyes today. Oh my god, I'm loving the green. And then, what else? I've done looks so far with the pink, the purple, and the blue, which I'll insert some pictures down here of when I wore the blue, the, the, pink, the, the pink, the purple, and the blue. And I'll insert a picture down here or up here where I wore the purple and the blue at the same time because I was doing like a little unicorn look. So yeah, I love this and I'm glad um, I got it before it went out of stock and didn't let other people make the decision for me. Because just because other people don't, don't like something doesn't mean you have to listen because I'm already sad that I miss getting the Metal Matte Palette because that came out just around the time I was getting into makeup and like I didn't realize to snag it. Like I didn't hear about it until it was too late basically. So I didn't want to let another cat item pass me by because I just really love everything she does and I'm obsessed with this and so so glad that I didn't let it go. I'm just going to take a sip of water. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a lot going on. Okay so next we have, I'm always searching for mascaras and I don't know if this is going to be my ultimate or not yet but this is the Mega Slim Skinny Mascara by Wet n Wild. So it's really cheap drugstore, like $4.99. And because I have small eyes, as I always complain about, it has the skinniest wand, like of all time. So I've been really enjoying it so far. But um, I am still testing out others. And I've actually been enjoying my Too Faced Better Than Sex a little bit more. Because even though the brush is bigger than I would like, I've learned to maneuver the brush better than when I got it a couple of months ago. So, yeah. So, eventually, um, I'll find my new favorite mascara since Elf had to go discontinue the one that was my favorite. But um, if you have small eyes and you kind of don't like big brushes, I do recommend this one. Now, I'll jump into some stuff you guys have seen, but I have to include these because I've been abusing them. <laughs> so, first is... Prosecco Pop by Becca the Highlighter. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. I'm glowing everywhere. I didn't just do my cheeks, did my nose, my forehead. I just abuse these highlighters when I wear them because oh my gosh, they're everything. Everything. If you don't know like which luxury highlighter to splurge in and you only want to like pick one brand, I think I might say this one. I mean, Jeffree Star's are really good too, but I don't know. These are just what I'm addicted to at this moment. Like, I still use my Jeffree Star ones and love, love, love them, but I think because these are like more new to me, I'm just like ba bathing in them constantly. And then of course, um, I'm putting the other color in here, which is my miniature travel size in opal because opal is such a beautiful color. Oh my gosh. And I could not leave it out because I bathe in this as well. Like I cannot put these two down. So the Prosecco Pop is more of a golden. And this is kind of like more of like an iridescent type color. 
And then I had to include the Hourglass Travel Size Bronzing Highlighter because um, it is just so soft and beautiful. And this is something else that I've just been using so consistently. Once you use something so consistently, it's got to make your favorites list because it's that amazing. And again, the quality is really good on this product. So this is actually something I'm really, really loving. Um, I have a closed one here, but I have two that are open right now. This is the L'Oreal Blending Artist Infallible, and it's a beauty sponge. And so when I started out using sponges, I did not go for the beauty blender right away because I didn't know if I like it or not. First, I got one from BH Cosmetics for like six bucks. And then the next sponge I got was an e.l.f. one. Can't remember the exact price. I want to say maybe around $5. And I was like, oh, I'll get the Beauty Blender one day. Because they're like 20 bucks. So you want to make sure you like sponges before you get it. And I definitely like sponges. I really never want to put foundation on with the brush again. And then I was hearing good things about this. I think they're $7.99 at Ulta. I'm obsessed with these. Like, I own three and I think I want to get like one more because I accidentally ripped one of them, but it was nothing wrong with the product. It was something stupid that I did. But yeah, these are so amazing, and I honestly don't even feel a need to get a beauty, a official beauty blender now because I love this L'Oreal one so, so much. And it's funny, I thought it was like just me, and then I've seen lately a few large um, beauty channels like large as in 20,000 and large as in like a million saying even though they have real beauty blenders they also really enjoy these L'Oreal ones so um yeah if you're looking for a new beauty sponge um and you don't want to spend the 20 bucks you can get this for Six seven to go so I actually this is my first time owning um this formula so these are the La Creme lipsticks by Too Faced so they're a regular lipstick they're not liquid even though I prefer liquid, um, I do like to own some regular lipsticks. Sorry guys, I gotta take a sip again. I'm having a lot of problems with like really bad um, dry mouth and dry throat because of the um, health problems I'm experiencing. So I apologize. Um, so yeah, when I got 20% coupon from them recently, I realized Unicorn Tears was back in stock. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted Unicorn Tears. So Unicorn Tears looks blue, as you can see. And I'll insert some pictures either up or down. I never know until I edit like where the picture is going to fit, where I have it on. I think I took some pictures in advance last week um, when I had it on of what it looks like alone and then what it looks like as like a topper for another lipstick because when it's alone, it kind of merges with the color of your lips, so it turns kind of like a purpley iridescent if you wear it alone, which is really cool. I would wear it out like that. Like, some people wouldn't, but I would. And then if you wear it as a topper for another color, it kind of makes the color look frosted, which is also really, really cool. So, I really like this lipstick, and I didn't think it was going to come back in stock anymore, to be honest. I was just like, oh, I didn't get it. Oh, well. But I saw it back in stock, so I was like, why not? And the, the formula is very comfortable, obviously, because it is like a regular lipstick. It doesn't have the lasting power. You're going to have to reapply it if you're eating and drinking, but that's okay. And then this other one is called Marshmallow Bunny. I love the name and the color. It's just like a really beautiful pink. Great for the spring and summer. And I think I have a photo of me wearing that as well, which I'll put somewhere over here. So... Yeah, I, oh my gosh, I just love this color as well. And this is the color that um, was under the Unicorn Tears in one of the photos. And I wore it alone as well. It's just really pretty color. So if you're looking for traditional lipsticks, this formula is really, really comfortable. Um, I like it. Um, and it's an interesting shape for a lipstick. And I kind of like it, how it's long like this and not just like a stubby tube. I'm actually really obsessed with the lipstick I'm wearing today. I can't really put it in the favorites video yet because like I just got them. So I'm still kind of testing them out, but I feel like I'm not wearing lipstick. And you're probably thinking, girl, that's your Leo lipstick that you wear all the time, but it's actually not. I'll show you what it is, 
even though this should not count as a favorite, but it will probably be a favorite next month. I've been obsessed with Dose of Colors for a little while now. Obsessed as in like stalking the brand, watching other people's videos. And I was trying to behave and wait till they went on sale and they finally did. So I got several colors, including Cork, which is like very similar to Leo, the color that I'm obsessed with. And like I can never have too many brown lipsticks. And I actually got another brown shade from them. I can't remember the name right now. And I got two other non-brown shades. It feels like I'm not wearing anything on my lips. Like this liquid lipstick is amazing. So Dose of Colors is like um, an indie brand, but not indie for much longer because Ulta's gonna start carrying it soon, which I guess is good so more people have access to it. But it's just really, really awesome. So if you're looking for a very comfortable liquid lipstick, um, definitely check them out. The, the, to me, they're right up there with Kat Von D and Jeffree Star for how comfortable and pigmented they are. And they go on sale like way more. Like Jeffree Star barely ever goes on sale. Dose of Colors has gone on sale like three times now since like I've been like stalking them. So um, I think you'll have a better chance of getting them because they're the same price as Jeffree Star's lipsticks. This is um, Shook, which you guys saw um, in that Jeffree Star video that I did um, reviewing his collab. It definitely, I wore it more and more and I really, really like it. If you want to see how it looks on me, just go back to that video or any video where I'm wearing the leopard shirt. It's like a gray leopard shirt. And I do have this on my lips and I just love it. It's the perfect spring and summer color. It's like a very unique coral in my opinion. It's like a coral that was deepened with some other tones. And then the final lipstick is something newer to my Kat Von D collection. It's not new to Kat Von D's, D's line, just new to me. It's Lovecraft. It's a very popular color actually. A lot of people love it. Like I know Lolita is like the favorite, but this might be like the second favorite. It's just like a very pretty light pink. I actually don't think I have a picture of wearing this, but um, yeah, it's very popular, and I've actually seen a lot of people wearing it on a lot of channels, so I will insert a screenshot close up so you can see it better. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color, and again, yeah, this called um, Lovecraft. And did anyone else take advantage of her Memorial Day promotion? She literally, if you spent a certain amount of money on the site, she gave you three Studded Kiss lipsticks for free. That's $63 worth of lipstick. That's crazy. I was so excited. Oh my gosh. Memorial Day, like, I was really good this month at, like, not buying that much stuff. And then Memorial Day, like, yeah, I just bought everything because they're so good. But, um, that is the end of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you like any of the products in this video? Do you own any of them? And let me know what you think of them. And if you don't like these products, then what products do you like this month? Let me know what you're using in the comments. I would love to hear about them. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.